Hi, this is Christy with Art of Awakening. Thanks for watching. And I just have a little share today about uh, the energies that I'm picking up on, in, just in general right now. I'm, I don't know if you've been feeling it. I have been just feeling just almost slammed with energy. It's been pretty intense the last couple of days, and not in a bad way, but it, there's a lot going on. And I, I'm feeling, especially around Easter, it felt just like I felt a huge amount of energy. And then since then, it's been way intense. And it's almost been like I've had to lie down a lot. Um, okay, so, and, and I'm, I'm kind of hearing reports from other people too. There's a lot of energy. Of course, it's been like this, you know, kind of waves of it for months and months now. So this should come as no surprise. But for me, it's feeling like this is this is something pretty intense and I'm really seeing it as going along with this kind of Easter holiday, the spring season that we're in. I'm feeling a lot of just renewal energy in this regeneration, resurrection even. And it, it really does feel like in the collective, there's a real awakening happening right now. And what I'd like to, what I've been really given to relay about this is that this is really asking us to step into our truth in a really big way. What is stepping into our truth? It's, it's paying attention to, it's like getting onto our higher timeline. It's starting to take actions that lead us to living to our highest potential. And so this, this energy here, I, I, I've kind of using as an illustration, this little doodle, if you watched my little um, daily reading from a couple days ago, I, I was actually doing this doodle and this is the finished, I didn't finish it in the, um, in the reading, but this is the finished one. And like you can see just a lot of energy and it's very, I'm seeing very, a lot of balance too. Okay. So I'm feeling like this portal right now is going to bring us collectively into a very balanced state of being in a very vibrant state of being. I'm seeing in the middle kind of this uh, masculine feminine, almost like a caduceus kind of thing going on. And I'm seeing all of the elements, earth, air, fire, water, and just a lot, a lot of just things springing into life. So this really is like, you know, we're talking about the new earth. Well, this is, this is like springboarding us into that, into this 5D, 4D, you know, kind of 4D collective consciousness. But again, it's asking us to step into the truth and the truth of who we are, right? And, and stop wearing the masks and stop like, you know, putting up with stuff because it's the thing to do or because we're afraid that we're not going to be supported, right? The universe is stepping forward right now, big time to support each of us who is aware and conscious and willing to step up for ourselves. Okay, so this kind of resurrection energy, it's not just the, like, I, I'm getting a lot of masculine archetypes right now, okay, from the horned god with this regeneration kind of energy um, to Osiris to... Um, you know, the Christ, Christ consciousness, this is about that. Um, and Shiva also. Okay, Shiva energy here. And even the Archangel Michael, you know, uh, going along with that. And what some of this is, is like, if you look at, uh, you know, the, the Christ or, or Shiva, there's always going to be a letting go, a dropping, a cutting away, to, in order to free the spirit, in order to free the self. 
what's really true, right? You got to let go of anything that's not. And so how do we let go? Well, it starts by coming into stillness. That's why all of these myths, they descend to the underworld before they can come back, right? Or they die before they can be reborn. So we can do this intentionally. I mean, the, the, the universe will probably do it for us, but if we can proactively do it, we can bypass a lot of the suffering, right? And it can become a very joyful process. So this process of awakening, this process of coming into one's Christ essence does not have to be painful. I mean, it, it is for a lot of people, but the more conscious you can come into it, the more awareness you can bring into it, the less painful it has to be. Okay, so if you can understand that this is what is happening, and voluntarily come into that stillness, whether it's just coming into meditation, being aware, it may be actually physically allowing yourself to come to stillness, to sleep more, to rest more, whatever it is. But it's, it's coming to that still point, to that stillness, because that's what allows you to hear the inner voice. Okay, and, and when we're in an agitated state, It, it just keeps us in that loop, okay? Which is why the agitation wants, you know, whatever it is that, that um, wants to keep us away from our true selves needs us in that agitated state in order to keep us away. Because if we naturally would actually go and listen to our higher selves if it weren't for all that agitation, all that anxiety, that's why fear is such a thing that gets, gets played, these tapes over and over, um, you know, to keep us in fear land. But if we can realize that and bypass that and just, just recognize that that's there to distract us and they come into stillness and then we can start to really listen to the inner voice and the inner voice will tell us, okay? So there's two parts to this resurrection kind of thing. One is coming to stillness so you can listen and the other is, is really paying attention to that voice and realizing, okay, well, what is my truth? And how do you find the truth? Well, it's what brings you joy. What sparks joy? That's, that's, that's huge. You know, what sparks joy? What makes you feel good? Like really feel good. Um, you know, not feel good like, like you're drinking a bunch of beer because you want to knock yourself senseless because you want to get away from the pain and anxiety. That's not real feel good, right? Uh, and we know this. We all know this. But to feel good is what really sparks joy in our hearts, right? To, that, that makes us feel expansive, makes us feel just amazing, makes us feel like Wonder Woman or Superman, right? Uh, those things in, in a grounded way, right? So listening to that little inner voice, you've got to come to the stillness first, but then just really pay attention and be honest. It, it really demands honesty with yourself does this spark joy and that's going to trigger things because there's certain situations where we don't even want to know right because that which sparks joy or that which actively hinders joy may be associated with with maybe all sorts of relationships or or situations that we don't even want to go there in terms of we know it needs to change but it's too scary Okay, like maybe you're in a relationship that isn't serving you and you know it deep in your guts. And this is going to ask you to look at that and be honest. And it's going to ask you to rise up and be completely honest with yourself and with everybody else around you. And what I'm kind of feeling is that this energy is going to continue to demand that kind of honesty from ourselves to ourselves, you know, and with each other, that's why you get people feeling, you know, like completely, um, you know, slammed by this. If you're not in your truth, anywhere that you're not in your truth, it's going to make you feel slammed. And I personally have been feeling slammed <laughs> a, a, a lot lately, and I am realizing it's about my career, it's time to, you know, that I step fully into this work, um, even though 
I love my writing clients. I really do. And I feel like, you know, and I know I'm, I'm helping them. And a lot of them have companies that I really believe in, but it's really time for me to step onto my higher truth. And it is scary, but I am being told, it's like, I'm going to keep getting beat up until I just own this and step into it. And anywhere that you're feeling kind of beat up by life or beat up by the universe, look for that. Look for that. Where, where are you not in your truth? Because that's, that's what needs to be addressed. So that's, that's the energy that's coming forward right now. I'm just Sharon, and I hope that this has been helpful to you. As always, I really appreciate your comments, your likes, subscribes, your shares. I, I definitely so appreciate uh, those who have um, signed up for sessions or purchased a deck. Uh, much, much love. Much, much love to you all. And we'll catch you again tomorrow.